In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and complete setup of Epson Workforce WF110 printer. You can see this is a small printer, portable and lightweight. It also has an inbuilt battery power. That means you can use it anywhere and you can start printing. It can connect with the Wi-Fi network, you can use with the mobile printing. It can also connect directly with your smartphone or your laptop. Let's start the unboxing and the setup of the printer. On the top we can see there is a box. Inside we can see there are two ink cartridges, power cable, that is our printer, so it comes with the printer, driver CD, manual, ink cartridges and power cable. Let's take it out of this plastic packaging. Remove the protective tape. There are few tapes all around this printer. So that is our printer. It has some battery indicators lock at the back we have the battery where we can get access to it so we have to on this side we have the power cable to connect and also a USB port if you open from here just lift it from here then you can see this whole printer so let's start the setup process first step is to connect it with the power cable Plug in the power cable at this end. You will see the orange light. So it has started to charge the battery. So that is good. Now lift this section and press the power button to switch it on. Once you switch on, you will see the blue light. So this is a nice portable printer. Select your language. Next step is to install the setup ink cartridges. For that we have to open the ink chamber. Lift it from here. Now take the ink cartridges out of the plastic packaging. So it comes with a set of two ink cartridges. Remove the plastic packaging. Remove this first. Lift it from here and then take it out so this is the coloring cartridge so let's install it so place the back side first once the back side goes in then press it from the forward this is the black ink cartridge seal so lift it from one end and then remove this cover you can just unlock from here so again to install it, place the back side first. The chip should be facing forward and then press it from here. Once you install both the ink cartridges, just close it and go to the display panel. Click on the OK to start. It's going to take around 4 minutes. So we can see the initialization is complete, press OK, press OK again. On the main screen you will see estimated level of ink. Next step is to do the Wi-Fi setup or the wireless setup of the printer. Scroll down and click on the Wi-Fi setup. Scroll ahead, 
Wi-Fi recommended. Press OK. Press OK to proceed. Select Wi-Fi setup wizard. It will give you the list of wireless networks. If you have a home or office Wi-Fi network, it should display here. Select your Wi-Fi and press OK. Enter the password using this display panel. And you can make the uppercase, lowercase from here. And then you can select the alphabets or the digits. For example, this one and then for digits. Again, we can click here. So digits will come here. This way we have to enter the complete Wi-Fi password. Press OK to apply the password. Setup is complete. Press OK. Next step is to add this printer in a smartphone for wireless printing. You can use iPhone or you can use Android phone. Click on the Epson iPrint. So Epson iPrint app, you can download it from the App Store. Agree with the terms and conditions and press OK. To add the printer, click on the top icon here. Select printer. Now it will give you the list of Wi-Fi printers. Select your Workforce 110 series. Instantly it will add up the printer. You can see estimated level of ink. It also displays how much battery power is left. So we can go back to the home. That is our printer. So we can start printing. For that first we have to load the paper. Adjust the size, so move it to one side. Load letter size or refer size paper, that is the plain paper. Once you load the paper, just confirm it on the main screen. If you want to register your product, you can do that or you can just click no right now let's do a print to test it so i have print document for example this page click on the print instantly it will send a print command Let's see the print result. We can see the print quality is great. It has printed quickly. So this is a fast printer and it is a portable printer. You can also add this printer in your MacBook or laptop and you can use with that. So this way we can do the complete setup of the printer with the smartphone and we can start using it. Thanks for watching.